Right, you are watching The Beat. I hope you're enjoying the music. There's still loads more great music still to come on the programme this evening. I'm very pleased to say that I've been joined by Damon Alban from Blur, back with a new single and an album still to come. Yeah. Now, when you lot first started out, one of the um, sort of tags that, you know, certain sections of the music press gave you was, the, what was it, the most shaggable band in pop? Yeah. Um, was that something that you lived up to? I don't think so, no. I, think, I don't think anyone can live up to that, can they? And the ones that they say are usually aren't. So um, it was a bit of a misdemeanour for us, entirely. And, and in America, when we went to America, the shaggable means... Well, it, does, it doesn't really have a sort of translation there. It's sort of something to do with carpets. I thought it meant know. tobacco or something. Yeah, you're right, actually. Tobacco. So they got it completely wrong. Yeah. Didn't know what was going on at all. But they actually put stickers on the records there, the most shaggable band in pop. And know. it didn't help sell any records at all because they thought you were carpet so. salesman yeah. or something. Yeah. Well, listen, it's been about two years since like the first album, a long time in pop, and I know yeah. that it hasn't been plain sailing no. the last sort of like couple of years. Can you tell us what's been happening, why you've been away for so long? Well, I mean, to start off, we went... We went around the world twice, and we spent a lot of time in America, and um, we had a lot of problems when we got back. Um, our management had sort of disappeared of all our money, so we had to pay off all our debts, and um, just there was just a, a whole change in everybody. We, we all became slightly schizophrenic, I think, mm. and just had to sort of um, recover from that. Yeah. I, I think, I think, I think... I'm sure every band that you've spoken to who went to, to America early on in their career had a few problems because it's just such a large place and the, the sort of um, the sort of reception that you get in England is so different to that in America. I mean, they're so sanitised about everything mm. there and everything... I mean, you're expected to be more of a salesman there than, a, than an individual. Right. Know? And it's just difficult, you know, it's just difficult to sort of learn how to, to deal with that. I think it takes years. You know, I, I recommend people go over for like one or two weeks, not sort of two or three months, mm. you know. But, but everyone's greedy in this business to sort of ship you out there and make lots of money. Well, you talked about some problems there. Do you kind of sort of like feel that perhaps, you know, you should have known a little bit more before um, you were signing contracts? Or was well, it a mistake I mean, we, that you've got we, to make to learn? Yeah, I mean, we signed our our deal after eight gigs, you know, and, and, and then within six months we were on top of the pops. So, I mean, we didn't really have time to do anything properly or, or, or learn at all, you know, and we, we've done all our learning since then. And It all happened very, very easily for you, yeah. though, didn't it? Like you said, I mean, you know, you got a deal very, very quickly. The second single went top ten, I think. I mean, do you feel in some respects that perhaps it happened too easy? Well, it didn't because it gave us an interesting perspective and especially when we went to America, you know, England started to become this this sort of fantasy place that, you know, we could return to one day and um, start again. Mm. You know? and, and the whole, all the work we've been doing since then has sort of dealt with England as a, a fantasy place, you know, and, and the, the first single is, um, is like London as a, as a sort of fantasy, you know, it's sort of like a film track. To sort of a night in London. But we're lost on the West Way, and so we hold each other tightly and hold on for tomorrow. Singing la 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 Hanging on for dear life 
And so we hold each other tightly And hold on for tomorrow Singing La 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 Holding on for tomorrow Naughty girl with a lovely smile says, Take a drive to Primrose. It's windy there and the view's so nice. London eyes can freeze your toes like anyone, I suppose. <laughs> 